Welcome to GM6 Drone Mapping. Well, I was headed to St. Petersburg, Russia to bring you today's interview. But while preparing for some Russian vodka, I thought I would try some Texas vodka. As it turns out, I shouldn't drink vodka. I missed my flight, but that's okay because we're going to talk with Dimitri from Emlid via Skype today. Imlid is changing the playing field when it comes to aerial mapping. All right, let's go to Skype. Hey, Dimitri, thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. Um, so, what is it that you have there? This is actually the um, Rich Harris unit which you can use uh, for ground survey. Uh, it may work as a base station. It already has ante uh, the antenna, uh, built-in battery, internal radio. Here. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, it's pretty compact and lightweight. So uh, uh, this is designed really for various application. And I think uh, because of its size and connectivity options, it's um, uh, it's really used in, in, in all in all uh, applications where where the centimeter accuracy is required. Right. Uh, so yeah, and I have I have this one. Ah. This is small, t uh, it's tiny reach module for um, drone. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's uh, it goes with antenna, uh, and um, yeah, but it's that's that's like the mapping kit. Right. For for PPK. So what is Reach RS and how does it work? Reach RS is a um, RCK uh, GNSS receiver uh, and it costs only seven ninety nine dollars um, mm. uh, This is the device for, uh, uh, for the applications where you need uh, to conduct highly uh, accurate uh, measurements like lens surveying and draw mapping. So with a pair of such receivers, uh, uh, with just one receiver, and uh, internet corrections, you can get uh, centimeter precision um, and even 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 higher accuracy. Centimeter precision, that's good. Can you explain PPK? Yeah, that's uh, for PPK. You you actually uh, the only requirement for for doing PPK is that your drone camera should have the access to a shutter. So the most important uh, is uh, to make the synchronization between camera and uh, um, uh, to to get you know accurate timing and mm -hmm. uh, uh, so each photo has uh, accurate uh, timestamp right. and position. Okay. If I understand this correctly, what you're saying is that when the mechanical shutter opens, the timing has to be perfect so that the geotag not only gets the exact precise millisecond that the shutter opens but that it's calculating the angle of the camera as well as the uh, geo-referenced point of where it's taking that picture. Okay, well, good to know. I read that the battery lasts somewhere around 30 hours or so. So let's say I have not charged the receiver in a while and I'm out in the field and the battery goes dead. Is there an extra battery or some way to charge it when you're out in the field? You can uh, use USB port and mm -hmm. uh, just, just charge it on the go from power bank or right. your laptop. If, if I'm working 30 hours, something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, yes, totally. <laughs> no, well, a lot of people actually using it like to, to uh, monitor and uh, it, it, it just stands in the field right. or... Uh, for many hours or so days right. even and yeah right in this case you need to use this external port ah. uh, you can power it from some external source of source of power okay cool so tell me how is reach different from traditional rtk units compared to topcon or trimble you indeed may find a variety of different rtk receivers on uh, the market uh, but most of them uh, will cost you like ten thousand dollars 
and obviously they are not accessible to amateurs or small businesses. Right. Uh, we, man we managed to make a reach affordable and uh, uh, we are using off-the-shelf components and uh, an RCK, uh, open source RCK engine to do this. Um, so um, we made an app and users interact with our reach view software, which allows them to uh, work in RCK mode, log the data and do many other things. Oh, so they can use the app to log data too. Wow. So what platform do the apps work on? The cool thing is that Reach uh, is available on iOS, on Android, and uh, you can work using a uh, web browser. You can connect ReachRS with the uh, um, mobile phone, mobile device, uh, and uh, get internet correction, uh, entry corrections from the reference station, from course, right. ReachRS. Um, yeah, it, it works really well. Okay, great. I, I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to not only explain ReachRS, but even covering some of the uh, more difficult things to understand with PPK. So we're going to be diving into that subject a little bit more next week when we go meet with some actual users of ReachRS. Stay tuned for that episode because it's gonna get really interesting and we're gonna see some stuff that we haven't been able to show on this channel before. I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are too. Thanks.